Hello, 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 WFG. It's your one and only Paul and Jocko. To, to WFG president, Mr. Todd, to Susan Davis, to the entire home office, I want to say thank you for the privilege to serve once more. Well, last year, I came to this convention, stood on this stage, and talked about how WFG has changed our lives and how WFG is and will continue to be the only solutions to middle-class Americans, and more importantly, the immigrants. Well, guess what? One year later, that story is still the same. Nothing has changed. Quite frankly, that statement that I met last year has been vindicated with everything that had transpired in WFG in the last one year. The results speak for themselves. I think there's nobody in this room can dispute that, that WFG is a miracle to a lot of us in this room, actually for most of us in this room. Story after story, but some of the story that really that I want to highlight is the story of what's happening in the country as we speak. And the story of one of our leaders in our hierarchy, who for the sake of privacy, I'm not going to mention his name, but we promoted him to SMD. And somewhere, somehow, He thought that the job that he had was the way to go. You fast forward three months later, this young man was laid off by Amazon, but not just laid off. He didn't even get a phone call. He woke up on a Monday morning to get an email that his job, he no longer has his job. But I want everybody in this room to think about that. So while the corporate America is laying people off, what is WFG doing? WFG is recruiting. I just want you to think about that for a second. Like let that marinate in your mind for a second. You know, the mission of no family left behind. So that's an agent perspective. But then, from a client perspective, WFG mission, uh, mission no family left behind. From a client perspective, this one is actually a sad story. Three years ago, when we became a brand new SMD, some of you know my story. I come from a nursing background. I was a registered nurse. We sat down with one of my wife's friends, actually close friend. We protected her with a life insurance of a million dollars. She was a travel nurse, uh, uh, um, traveling from uh, Alabama to California when we were still living in California during COVID. She decided, you know what? Paul, I don't know if this plan is for me. And she did the terrible thing of canceling her policy. Three months ago, I was in the office. My wife called me. She's like, honey, you can't believe this. I'm like, what now? 
She was like, do you remember so, so, and so? I said, yeah, the one that canceled her policy. She said she didn't need it. My wife continued to send me a link on Facebook of where she's soliciting a GoFundMe account. She's been diagnosed with stage three cancer. On my way to this convention, and I received that phone call that most of us in this room will receive. But oftentimes, that phone call could also be a blessing when we receive it. But it turns out that this time around, that phone call, instead of being a blessing, it was actually a sad, a sadness. Because the young lady has lost her life. So what am I trying to say here? Especially to the new agents. Maybe this is your first time coming to this convention. I want to encourage you. I want to inspire you. And if there's any advice that I can give you, that advice is one word and one word only. Move. Move. Take action. Because the enemy will resist. The naysayers we try to talk to you out of your dreams. The cynics will tell you, you know what? That WFG thing, you know, my grandma did it, my grandpa did it, everybody in my family did it, right? Drinking the Kool-Aid. But the point I'm trying to make is we have to fight the battle. This battle must be fought. In my lineage, in my family, we are choosing to fight the battle of financial literacy, financial independence, freedom. We are choosing to fight this battle so that my three kids and one on the way will not have to fight this battle. So for some of you in this room, maybe that battle might be Maybe the battle of you being the one, being the light in your family. Well, if you don't fight that battle to light up your family, then your children will have to fight that battle. Right? So in the end, I just want to leave you guys with these three timeless creed. We will, we must, and we shall overcome. Have a blessed rest of the week. Thank you, everyone.